Okay, so you've got that beautiful piece of furniture, whether it's been handed down as an heirloom or you found it at your local thrift shop. But you want to strip it down and get it all the way down to bare wood. That way you can do what you want to do with it. The only problem is it's got tons and tons of detailed carvings. How do you get that stripped off? Well, keep watching this video and I'll show you the steps that I take to get this piece stripped and cleaned off. Now we're going to get started right now. Hey guys, this is Paul with Coastal Upcycling. If you like this type of information, please subscribe to our channel and share it with a friend. Hit that little bell and you'll be notified every time uh, we upload a new video to YouTube. Okay, so let me uh, go ahead and share with you a couple of things. Let me take these off for a uh, A couple of things that uh, you will need uh, in order to make this project go a little bit smoother for you. So of course you're gonna need your citrus strip. Uh, you can purchase it uh, anywhere really nowadays. You can, uh, Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, Amazon, uh, they'll ship it right to your door. You're gonna need this. This is steel wool and this is grade number 0000 or 4 aught. This is 4 aught steel wool. It's a very fine steel wool. We're gonna use it for both stripping and cleaning. Old toothbrush, okay. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be trolls. It can be any character you'd like as long as you're never gonna use it again. This is an old Brillo plastic bristle brush. Uh, of course, we've got our old fashioned plastic scraper. Our old got a bamboo skewer. Uh, toothpick will work also. This particular piece has got all kinds of intricate carvings that uh, the paint would have to come out of. Some mineral spirits. This is low odor mineral spirits. Again, picked up at any hardware store, Walmart, any, anywhere uh, really that sells uh, home goods. That's it for tools that you're going to be uh, using. I, I, okay, so let's move on to safety. Although this has been or is billed as a safer alternative to stripping, it's still a chemical. And you wanna treat it with uh, as such. So definitely wanna have on uh, safety glasses. Uh, you definitely don't want that on your skin, so uh, glove up. Um, this is the materials that I have currently uh, available to me. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, let's go ahead and put some citrus strip on and hopefully we'll get this thing cleaned up. Okay, so the application is a fairly easy process. You wanna be very liberal with the product, making sure to get plenty of stripper on. Use a chip brush to work it into every last nook and cranny. Be sure to work in small sections at a time. You don't want to get too far ahead of yourself because the gel will dry out and you'll have to reapply to reactivate. Next, cover with plastic to seal in the moisture. This ensures the gel won't dry out and allows the stripping agent to work more effectively. You can use plastic wrap, saran wrap, painter's plastic. I just use an old grocery bag that I cut up. Be sure to work all the bubbles out. Let the gel work for anywhere from 30 minutes to overnight, then remove the plastic. Test the area to see if the paint is lifting off. If it moves around easily, you're ready to start stripping. If the paint or varnish is stubborn, recover with plastic and let the gel work a bit longer. Experiment with different tools to see which one gives you the best results. The toothbrush is good for getting into those tight spaces. Try cutting up old plastic cards like credit cards to use as picks and scrapers. You can cut them into all kinds of different shapes to fit your needs. Once you've removed as much gunk as you can, grab an old rag or a shop towel and use your low odor mineral spirits to wash the area. Now you can easily see the bits that still need work. I then use a bamboo skewer to dig into the tight crevices and pick clean. Be sure to remove as much loose material as possible before moving on to the next step. Next, grab your 4 aught steel wool. I like to cut it in half to make it easier to handle. Dip the steel wool in citrus strip. With gloved hands, scrub the piece making sure to work the gel into crevices that still have paint. Again, be very liberal with the gel. Use as much as you need to. Once you have the whole area scrubbed and saturated, cover with plastic again and let it work for about another 40 minutes or so. After about 40 minutes, you can remove the plastic. Now I got busy with other projects, so I ended up leaving mine on overnight. That's the reason why it looks a little bit more dry than usual. 
But if this happens to you, no worries. All you have to do is resaturate the area with a little bit of mineral spirits. Again, use the rag to work the mineral spirits deep into the crevices. Once you have everything wetted down pretty well, go back to the bamboo skewer and use it to pick out all the gunk from the cracks. Next, take a nylon or plastic bristle brush and with some mineral spirits, use it to scrub and wash the area, stopping the stripping process. Make sure you use a brush that has plastic or nylon bristles. Steel wire brushes will damage the wood because it's saturated wet. It can cause unsightly scratches and gouges to the piece. Now as you go through this process, feel free to go back and forth between tools. Use the steel wool for any fine detailed cleaning. Use your bamboo skewer to get any areas that still have paint stuck deep in the crevices. Okay, so stripping detailed furniture can be a tedious and labor intensive process. Make sure you're working in a comfortable environment and position. A high chair or a work stool would be perfect. Now this process that you've just seen may have to be repeated a couple times in order to get everything removed. But trust me, your patience will be rewarded with something like this. Thank you for watching. Want to know more about stripping furniture using Citrus Strip? Check out some of our other videos on the subject. Now to learn more about painting and refinishing furniture, please subscribe to our channel. Click that bell and you'll get our newest videos right to your feed.